captured in this wild card and Bob was captured in this wild card. So that's how you do wild cards. Now to put that knowledge to proper use, let's make a simple targeting alias. Targeting alias is a pretty much the first thing you do in any mod client. So we put T. Now we put that little combination of a bracket dot asterisk and close bracket, and we close it like this. And now we test our lies. So instead of doing this, we just say say hi matches to. So just a good small test. We say hi Bob, and it worked. Hi Bob. Now because it's a targeting lies, the point of a whole alias is to save your target into a variable. How you save your target is you type variable, let's say let's call our variable target target equals what we want. In this case we want it to equal matches too because that's our wildcard. So we say like this. Hello matches too. We save it and let's change this to say target. So what will happen? Our target will be captured in this wildcard, which means it will be in matches too. And because we did target equals matches too, target will remember what our matches too is. It will remember it forever. And we then say, hey, say hi target. So right here, it will have the same effect. Hi Bob. Except now that we remembered our target in the variable target. Now, let's make use of a variable. You want to make an attack alias. So you know how to type something like kick bub every single time. You can just type kk. So now I click on add item. Let's call this my attack attack for quicker and here we just say kk like this. Now remember that our target is in a target variable. So to do that we we'll do a send kick put a space and you put in two dots again and we'll put in the target variable target so now send will send we command kick target save it activate it let's try it out kk and uh, we don't have a bub right here but it did work it send we command c kick bub so our alias is working quite nice huh and let's say if you're a monk and you want to kick and punch somebody at the same time, all you do is paste this and change it to punch. And you punch them again. Save it. KK. And ta da! We did all three things at once. We did kick bub, punch bub, punch bub again. So that covers simple aliases, including targeting. Now, the only function today we learned is the send one. There is also another equally important one which is called echo. Echo displays text to you. It doesn't send it to the mod, but it prints it out to you. So why don't we do that? Call it hh. And the name of the function is, obviously enough, echo. Echo. Hi. Save it. HH. And oh, it didn't work. We forgot to activate it. HH. There we go. Hey, model said hi. Hi, 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 hi. Now, let's apply our knowledge of wildcards and make it say hi of whatever we told it. So if we do HH bub, it'll say hi bub. So let's put this little funny combination again. Echo high, and we we'll put in bub. Oh, we don't put bub, we we'll put matches too. Because we want the wild card to go into here, and it's called matches too in here. And remember your two dots to glue things together. Save it, and now we do HH bub. Hi bub, HH Sally. Hi Sally. So it's working. And that would conclude the simple analysis tutorial for today.